Okay guys, well, as you know, we're out at Keeper Lake Lodge today, mapping for Keeper Madness. We just came back after mapping out Porky's Revenge, craft some fuel for the ponies, and we'll call this bad boy, Hurt Duh. Let's go. <laughs> So this happened on this bike once before. I'm hoping it's just a little something something in the fuel. But if I give it any gas above an idle, it just dies. Stay tuned. It's fine now. It's a little disconcerting, but same as the last time. It, we just quit and now I ran it just at an idle moving <clears throat> for about hundred meters. Didn't like it very much. But then it's fine now, so. Okay. All right. So if you guys didn't watch the predecessor to this video, let me fill you in quickly. Keeper Lake Lodge in the Monachi Mountains, British Columbia, hosting two Keeper Madness Adventure Bike Weekends. The first one coming up July 21st, and the next the end of August or first of September. Get the dates on the screen there for you. And yeah, come out, spend the night, spend two nights at Keeper Lake. They got a great restaurant, awesome staff, really cool facility. It's a backcountry cat skiing operation, and uh, they're opening the door to have a bunch of stinky dirt bikers come in and spend the weekend with them. And we're out mapping some trails. We did one this morning called Porky's Revenge. And now we're getting into this and we haven't named it yet. A little tight on the alder, but time will see. Yeah, and we are riding our baby bikes because we don't know what's around the next corner. And we find it's better to explore on something that's small and nimble than a big fat patty. Let me put this into perspective for you guys. We are about an hour and a half drive from Vernon out into the Monashi Mountains. And then from there we unload and we ride away from the lodge. We are in the middle of nowhere, BC, which is one of my favorite places to be. But if you guys come, you gotta pack the gear, man. You can't just roll out here with a six pack of Coors Light and call it a day. It doesn't work like that in the back country. You gotta have tools on the bike to fix the bike, tools to fix tires, extra clothing in case it gets cold, rain gear in case it gets wet, extra food, lots of water, in reach, first aid kit. We pack it all, man. We've got the kitchen sink. We hope to never have to use it. If you guys are gonna come and play in the back country with us, please think ahead, pack accordingly. Okay, so we're getting into some loose stuff in this descent. It's really not too bad. Oh, it's over. It wasn't that long. I'm, I'm saying that this is probably a three. Um, Porky's Revenge that we did this morning was a three, but it had a nice smattering of fours throughout. <laughs> That's for sure. This guy so far, nothing too crazy, as long as you're comfortable rolling on ball bearings, you'll be fine. So when you get into stuff like this, it's pretty safe to say this trail is not overridden. <laughs> It is overridden with plants, but not with dirt bikers. Scotty, where are you? Yes. Yeah, you 
you guys are gonna have to bring your A-game to get up this on a big bike. Definitely doable. Don't do it on your own. Bring a buddy. Lay them down and use them for traction. <laughs> Little rocky. Little rough. Definitely rideable. A little bit of momentum, looking way out. And just stay calm. doable guys it's gonna make you earn your supper oh. that was neutral <laughs> shut that off bummer this is not when you want to go to neutral no. <laughs> <sighs> Stroke in second gear. Not so bad. It's rough, boys and girls, but it's doable for sure. There you have it. A little bit of a cruxy section. Oh, more to come. Yes. Beauty. Beauty trail. Whew. <laughs> I'd look right and show you the views, but I can't. So I'm a little focused right now. this rock. Look at this stuff. Amazing. A little bit of a rocky climb here. Not too bad. Lots of traction. Let's keep it rolling. Nice. Woo. So keep your leg lodge. They are an organization in TMA as well. So if you log in, if you don't know how to log in, go to that Moto app and then use Ride for Dylan. That'll get you in there. And once you're in, you can find Kiefer Lake. They're an organization. They got a nice little page, pretty little pictures. Nothing quite that pretty. Yeah, stop. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Okay guys, so we had a uh, board meeting and it's been agreed that this trail is officially a five, which is super spicy. So I'm not trying to say you can't do it or shouldn't do it, but you should maybe really only consider this if your last name is Knievel and you're a rock star on a big bike that is. Keep in mind guys that we are super remote here and if you get busted or you bust your bike, it's probably a helicopter ride. So if you haven't ridden fours and fives on your big bike and you want to, come to our gathering at the end of September, the Adventure Bike Gathering. We're in Vernon, close to mechanics and doctors, and probably a wise spot. This is beautiful, but only come and do this on a big bike if you're a super stud. Okay, so this is the last bulls at the top. Apparently it gets a little spicy, we'll see. <laughs> There's Scotty's 
bike. I don't know where Scotty is. Woo! We're out of the bugs now, baby. What? You've got to be kidding me, man. Look at this view, guys. So why do I come to Kiefer Madness? Oh! Look at this, holy cow. Look out there, come on! What? <laughs> ah, the boy from Prince Edward Island moves to BC and 25 years later, still loses it when he sees the mountains like that. Just incredible, love it. Little jump. So we've officially called this one no dab. Because if you can ride this without putting a foot down, you're a stud, baby! I got ugly. Whoo! <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and try this again. Stay tuned. Oh, let's watch this. I'm gonna let it roll. Yeah. <laughs> it is steep. Yeah. I don't know who should be coming here riding this. <laughs> Down we go. Steady. Ooh, it's amazing, guys. This is July 1st, Canada Day. And we're gonna go play in the snow. Watch, I'm gonna make a snow angel. <laughs> This guy, oh, this guy ate a lot of paint as a kid. <laughs> and look what just happened to my bike. <laughs> what a couple of knuckleheads. <laughs> ah, yes. If only they made a bike that went on snow. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I try, I just can't do anything cool. <laughs> Everybody's ready. Welcome aboard the Pinkie Pie Express. We're gonna head down now. This is out and back. I propose that we call this route no dabs. So a dab is when you touch the ground. That's throwing out the challenge to ride this without ever touching the ground. I was doing great until I crashed up here. We, Marco was all over the place. He was shooting rocks back at me. He was right here where I crashed. Andrew was about 20 feet lower right behind me. Probably crashed because he saw me crash. But I didn't clean it. I gotta come back another time. Give it a try. So yeah, if you come out and ride this route, whether it's at the Key for Madness event or just out on your own with your buddies, and if you do it, no dabs, let me know. You'll be my new hero. Especially if you're on like a big bike, like a 790 or an 890. I only know one person I think that can do that. And that's superstar Brandon. I mean, even ride it. I, don't, I think he'd probably still have to take dabs. He punches the ground every now and then to right his bike. If you want to get the tracks for this ride, they will be available in TMA eventually. Uh, we're going to wait till after the Key for Madness event. Let them have their day of glory weekend. And then we'll make them go live for everybody. You just have to be in TMA. Doesn't cost anything. Lots of benefits. Ooh, um, one thing I've been meaning to bring up. Maybe I have already, but I'm getting better at explaining it. 
if you log into TMA and go, oh, I'm not really a social media person. Good, fine, great. Don't use that part. Oh, I really don't want to record my rides. Hey, no problem. You don't have to do that. Maybe you want to record your very best ones, but you don't have to do all of them. You don't have to do any if you don't want. And the list goes on and on. There's lots of things that you might like or not see the point of. It's like a buffet. When I go to a buffet, I'm going there to pick, choose my own adventure, to choose the stuff I want, and then the people who go with me, they're probably choosing different stuff. TMA is designed to be a five-star buffet. You just pick and choose the things you want. You can actually turn off the things you don't want, or at least hide them. Wow. Well, for those of you who aren't very tech savvy, and you just need a GPS, just do Sidecar. It's free, and it's better than just about all the others. Yeah. Well, folks, that's basically a wrap for today. It's been a lot, haven't you? We were just having a discussion. If you guys want to show up on fire-breathing two strokes like this, not street legal, that's totally fine. Totally fine. You can do the exact same stuff we're doing and do it in the safety and style of a two or a three hundy two-stroke. There will be a lot of easier routes, and if you want to take a non-street legal bike on those, there's probably a way around. You won't be as comfortable, right? Like big bikes are awesome on easy stuff, and there are a couple of sections where you have to go on the highway. But remember where we are. We're in the middle of nowhere. You might even be able to just go in the ditch if you're really worried about it. So. I just wanted to mention that before we wrap this sucker up. Come on out, whatever kind of bike you got, you'll have some fun, we'll figure it out. Well, there you have it, folks. Another successful mission of the Keeper Lake Lodge. Keeper Madness is going to be a blast. I wonder who you have to talk to about staying in the teepee. That'd be pretty cool. Beautiful lake, beautiful scenery. Come join us. See you next time.